damn I'm sorry you can't see my face on this video but eh, I'll give you what I'm gonna give you you know it's gonna make you feel good and you know you're gonna like it today I worked at the bicycle race um, they call it the tour of California um, stage two came through our town the town of Santa Rosa California today and you know this is the first time I worked in about four weeks, almost a month. Yeah, I only earned $125 in a little nine hours. But to see the guys again, be with the old crew, made me feel good. You know, out there peddling food, you know, it made me feel good. Sometimes as a man, you just got to get your ass up out of the house. Sometimes when you're pressured and pressure is strong, you've got to get out of the house. And today, I went and put in the hours. It rained. I come home all wet and cold. But that didn't bother me. I gave an old friend a ride home. That didn't bother me. Had a drink, and that didn't bother me. feels good something about being in public and being around people and peddling food it makes you feel good and for those who don't know peddling food is what I do I peddle food um, to see Lance Armstrong come by you three times is also a good feeling knowing what this man went through in life you know cancer and life you know made me feel good for all those people out there who watch me the whole purpose is sometimes you gotta make it do what it do sometimes you have to be the bigger man and stand up and breathe. Sorry about you hearing noise and a crinkle. I have a very sensitive microphone, and the way it's set up, it's shifting, it's spinning, it's turning around. I don't want it to turn around. Um, cut my hand today, loading the truck up. But it felt good. <laughs> A lot of people says, man, this guy's all googly over a damn $125. I'm all googly over getting my ass up out of the house. Not being in public, because I love being in public. But to get out of the house. I've been in the house so long. My wife says, it's Friday. Friday? Friday the 3rd? No, Friday the 13th. You know, whatever. I, I miss... I miss weeks at a time, not not days, not hours, weeks. Huh? I'm all nice and melancholy and tired. And I want to drink a beer. Um, you know, got got a, about a six pack in the house. But I'm out here in the garage. I got four or five lights on me, and there's still no picture on the screen. I want to tell people out there if you got a job you better squeeze it like it's your woman um, if you got drama you better kill it like it's a communicable disease that you can kill I guess I really want to just say thank you to my people out there who who have been watching all these damn videos and watching me go through all this bullshit drama based on myself this reality show which is my life that I give to you folks sometimes I feel like it's all I got sometimes I feel like that if I don't talk to you guys I'm gonna go out and kick somebody in the ass I just want to thank you for listening to me.
putting up with me and dealing with me over the last year. And when I get my laptop fixed up and once I start editing this green screen, I've done some green screen stuff. I'm going to try to do a couple music videos with my old music. I'm going to do a basic uh, video where I'll just be able to put any song on it, but it, you don't know, you'll know what it is. Um, you people out there, I said you people, you people out there really do mean something to me. And um, a lot of people who do this YouTube would like to say you don't. But if you didn't mean anything to the people who do videos, they wouldn't be doing videos. I could have gave up on you all a long time ago. I could have took all the racism, all the remarks, everything, literally. There's a million things I could have done. But one thing I'm glad I didn't do is walk away completely. I may leave on my spurts and go on my benders. And when I say a bender, that means I'm so angry and frustrated, I just shut completely down. And when I shut down, I don't want to do no YouTube. I don't want to walk. I don't want to move. I just want to sit and think. I appreciate everything that you've done for me. Because you make me think. You make me want to better other people because nobody tried to better me. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying because it takes a grown-up to understand how I'm speaking. Not a grown-up in age, a grown-up in wisdom. To be humbled is a spiritual experience to be humbled by yourself is an enlightening experience somebody can put you in your place with words but those words don't affect you you'll think and you'll remove yourself from whatever reason that they had to give you for those words in order to better yourself You'll be humbled in that aspect. But to truly be humbled by yourself is a mental uplift that you can't buy. You can't go get high off the best of whatever they make to feel as good as it is when you understand. When you understand. What was the word I want to use? When you understand the feelings inside you, when you know why you feel a certain way, when you know that you can control your feelings, then you are truly humbled. No longer will you think violently for no reason. You might want to put your foot in somebody's behind but you're not likely to just go do it because you can. And you can look at that same person who you want to cause havoc and say, you know what? You can't make me do it. And you look and you say to yourself, hmm, why should I waste my time being less than what I am? To be who I am, forsaking anything done to me by anybody else, just because I can. And then, you have been truly humbled, because nothing, nothing can create a rainy day out of thin air, like drama is. Remember. Pass it on.